He lives in a trailer surrounded by farm animals and only owns four pairs of shoes. This does not sound like a description of someone who's nearly a billionaire. But the man you're about to meet is not your average CEO. Tonight, ABC's Rebecca Jarvis gets a look inside his world. It's 8 a.m. in Las Vegas, and while most of the Strip still sound asleep, downtown, a whole different kind of morning. Uh, <laughs> I've probably lived 10 places in my entire life, and uh, this is definitely my favorite so far. We're meeting Tony Shea. Worth nearly a billion dollars, he's the 41-year-old CEO of online shoe company Zappos, who owns just four pairs of shoes. Welcome to my home. And his favorite place to live, this 240 square foot trailer. Refrigerator, there's a shower, bathroom. Inviting our cameras in exclusively to show us around. This converts well. into a bed, that yeah. converts into a bed, and this is your workspace. Yep, the rent here is $9.50 a month. $9.50 yeah. a month, Yeah. so you got a pretty good deal. Yeah. You are definitely different than your typical billionaire CEO. I care a lot more about experiences than stuff. Introducing us to his neighbors, like his pet alpaca, Marley, and four chickens. So this alpaca just runs free around here. Yeah. What do and you feed him? Carrots. He likes carrots. An unconventional home for what might just be the world's most unconventional CEO. Investing $350 million rebuilding downtown Las Vegas. $50 million was to invest in small businesses to help create a sense of neighborhood and community and make downtown Vegas more walkable. And just a few blocks away, Zappos headquarters, where Tony has thrown out the traditional corporate rule book. Come on, Tony. <laughs> Gone are the titles, dress code, and corporate hierarchy. Mm, I love him. Instead, meetings in this Star Wars-themed conference room. Who does the decorating around here? Uh, we really leave it up to employees. It's all part of a big push by Tony towards something called a holacracy. Who's the boss? We're the boss. You're the boss. We're the boss. Essentially removing upper management and letting employees run the show. Do you ever fight with each other? No. We love <laughs> each other. The employees even determine their own salaries. We have a budget that uh, we are allowed, and there's eight of us that we determine how our pay would be. So. Could this be the model of the future? You want to come to work. You want to be here even on your day off. Some say, if the shoe fits. <laughs> For Nightline, I'm Rebecca Jarvis in New York. It was the Irish poet George Moore who said, a man travels the world over in search of what he needs and returns home to find it.